Hi, I'm Chris King. Welcome back to my blog. If this is your first time, welcome for the first time. And all of you, welcome to my garden. The creative process always amazes me, and I want to share a recent discovery with you. When I was wondering what I wanted to have this video be about, one of my favorite bumper stickers came into mind. Spirituality is not what you think. The first time I saw that bumper sticker, I just burst out laughing. I thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever seen, because what I remember is so many people arguing about what spirituality was. Thinking, 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 thinking. Spirituality is not what you think. Answering the question, what do I want to write about, this is what came to mind, right? So, this is it. I began. I did research. I wrote. I pondered. And after a while, I found out that I was really thinking too much about spirituality. I was making it so darn hard. I was in a very contracted state. I was not even breathing. What was I doing? I experienced spirituality as really expansive, like being in my garden, watching birds fly above, being really connected in my heart and soul. And here I was writing about spirituality as if my life depended on it, if I was going to die if I didn't do it right. So here are some things I learned about my creative process. Step one, I asked myself, what do I want to write about? Well, that's a good beginning, because I didn't know. Step two, the thought popping into my awareness, spirituality is not what you think. Well, that must be the answer to the question. Step three, I wrestled with it. Thinking about spirituality from different points of views, different religious views, history, comparing, analyzing, the list went on and on about how much I was thinking. Then step four. I stopped and took a moment and became aware of what I was actually doing, which led to the realization that how I was working with spirituality was the antithesis of spirituality. Step five. This awareness sparked a memory of a quote by Oscar Wilde. Life is too important to be taken seriously, which led to another bursting out laughing experience, and I laughed for a long time. That was my creative trail, and I wonder if you can relate. Life is too important to be taken seriously. What do these words mean? Life, the condition that distinguishes animals and plants from inorganic matter, including the capacity for growth, reproduction, functional activity, and continual change preceding to death. Spirit, important of great significance or value, likely to have a profound effect on success, survival, or well-being, significantly original and influential, expansive, taken, to reach for and hold, seriously, a solemn and considered manner, earnest intent, not likely, to a degree that is significant or worrying because of possible danger or risk, Contracted. So what does this quote mean to me? Our time on earth with a spark of life, spirit, is of such profound significance that to spend our lives in a contracted state of seriousness is a great loss. Life is meant to be lived wholeheartedly with awe of the mystery, learning new things, experiencing all of it with curiosity and the full range of emotions. With all these ideas swirling around in my mind, another thought popped in. What we put out there comes back to us. What goes around comes around. Karma. Another way of saying it, as we sow, so shall we reap. Step six. This is where the creative process led me, and I entered what is now called flow state where things just flow, and writing was easy. I switched from a bumper sticker to a quote, from wanting to do something perfectly to being present in the moment using my creativity. I switched from agony to, yes, ecstasy, from contracted to expansive. 
And lo and behold, the realization that both quotes are really saying the same thing. This life is so precious. Experiencing it, having the courage to jump in all the way instead of thinking about jumping in, is where the juice is. You and I are free choosers in an unlimited field of choice, choosing moment to moment. The question is, are you and I choosing what we really want to experience in our lives? Or are we settling for less and thinking, that's enough? Expansive, contracted. Juicy, dry. Love, fear. Positive, negative. I share these thoughts with you. Spirituality is not what you think. And life is too important to be taken seriously. Now, I wonder what your creative process will do with them. Let me know.